Hey, what's up? Today we're gonna do something a little bit different, something I haven't done before. We're gonna look at some of the worst wish items. You know, you get those advertisements for wish items that you would never buy in a million years, and it kind of makes you not want to shop on Wish anymore. Besides, it actually takes about a million years for a wish item to show up to your house. And then when it does show up, it's usually not what you ordered or a very inferior product to what they showed on, the, on their actual website. Anyway, so these are some of the worst wish items. So let's just get into it. This is You're Bad at Wish Items or World's Worst Wish Items. I don't know, I haven't really come up with the title for this yet. So let's do it. Hey, what's up? Up to 75% off all the brands you know and love. Pokemon. Um, yeah, no, that's not a Pokemon. That's a creepy ass Furby. It looks like an Eevee doll with a Furby face just like pressed in there. That is the creepiest little... If that's a poke, what is that? What kind of Pokemon is that? It's the I'm gonna steal your soul Pokemon. It's the creep you the fuck out Pokemon. It's the creep you out and give you nightmares Pokemon. $61? Are you crazy? For a rip off Pokemon doll? Come on. Now here's what I'm wondering. See, it's showing that a picture of something that's not a Pokemon. I bet you if you ordered this and bought it, an actual Pokemon would show up. Because usually, if it's showing like a nice little Pokemon doll, it's going to show up and it's going to be a Furby, a, like freaky, nightmare fuel Furby. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it'll be reverse. Who knows? For $61, I'm not going to find out. I'm still mad about the alien shirt Wish sent me. In space, nobody can hear you. In space, Alan. What? <laughs> It says Alan. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> That's that is wish in a nutshell. Oh man, it's kind of hot in here today. I'm wearing a sweater, which is dumb. My face is all red. Alan, <laughs> in space, nobody can hear you in space. And it's an egg. Why is there an egg on it? Nothing to do with alien items. Honestly, I think I would like this shirt. Think of the story you can tell. You can be wearing this at a party and it's such a good, like, opener. You know, people are like, what What kind of shirt is that? What does it mean? Like, this is the crappy wish shirt and it's just a good story to tell. I'd be telling that story all the time. It reminds me when my dog, Rosie, was sick. Not this dog back here, that's Nova. I used to have another dog named Rosie. She passed away a couple of years ago. And she was sick, she had cancer, so I was buying her these pills because she had a tumor and it, they were supposed to help like reduce the size of the tumor and help prolong her life. And these pills were pretty expensive. So I found them on this sketchy website where they were half price and I'm like, you know what? It's a pretty sketchy website, but I'm just gonna give it a shot. I'll buy them because they're half price. And if I'll buy one bottle and if I get it, I get it. If I don't, I think I bought two or whatever. It was like, I spent like 150 bucks. What I thought I was buying was animal pills for my dog. And you know what they sent me? This is what they sent me. This is crazy. I can't even make this shit up. They sent me this counterfeit Gucci uh, belt. They sent me a counterfeit Gucci belt, okay? And I looked up all the little things to be like, it's a really good fake, but I looked up all the little things like how to tell if it's a fake and uh, yeah, there was a few little like red flags when I was looking up that stuff, but they sent it with like a receipt and I'm like, how do I buy? Like, what the fuck happened? I was buying pills for my dog and I got a belt. And uh, to be honest, I've used this belt a lot. So it kind of worked out. I mean, it's an expensive ripoff belt, but you know, I'll just pretend it's real. Dead inside. Buy one, get one free random pin. <laughs> That's what I need is a dead inside pin. And I'll pin it through my forehead. Ah, uh, here we go. Two dollars for a... Uh pair of glowing testicles to hang from your vacuum. Is that actually what they are? That's what they look like to me. Maybe it's supposed to be a heart, an upside down heart that you can teabag your friends with. Newest fashion women slash men's Kim Jong-un Mona Lisa funny 3D print casual t-shirt. $12. Wow, so you can look like you're supporting a dictator. Cool, cool. Oh shoot, and Wish has everything, all your needs, even if you smoke meth. It's a $2 meth pipe. You can't beat those savings. All these ads, man, they're so horrible. Why are you advertising this? I am not spoiled, my meth just loves me. Who would buy that shirt? I mean, if someone is doing meth and they're like going down that bad path, they're probably not shopping on Wish. 
Or maybe because it's so cheap. I don't know. What is with the meth theme? And whoever is being given these sponsored ads on your desktop, you know like how they're targeted towards what you're searching? So apparently the algorithm that's sending you these ads think that you like meth. If they show you a meth pipe and then a meth shirt, <laughs> maybe you should just start smoking meth. Don't. Don't start smoking meth. Don't. Forget I said that. Oh, a cocaine sweater. Nice. A sweater that says, hey, I do cocaine a lot. Enough that I bought a cool sweater. It actually is kind of stylish. I mean, if cocaine wasn't just like a frowned upon thing, if cocaine was like beer, then this would be a good sweater. Oh, a $1 fake tongue. Wow, that is weird. A $1 fake tongue. <laughs> Oh god, it looks very realistic though, but you know the people that are buying a fake tongue for one dollar? They're not using it as like a gag gift, okay? That's some sicko that's like, oh, the tongue on my blow-up doll. It's not working anymore. It ripped off for some reason. It's very worn out. I need a new tongue. That's why they're buying it. Um, here's a weird one. I, I'm not really sure what this is. It looks like it's for clamping your toenail back down. You know, when your toenail pops up a little bit and you gotta push it back down into place. You get this little robot, and it pushes it straight down for you. Cool. I'm glad I don't have that problem. Maybe this is a common item. Three dollars. It must be high quality. Oh, and a leash for your hamster for two dollars. These prices are honestly amazing, but I don't know. If you're going to put a harness on your hamster, that's probably not going to work. I don't think you can walk your hamster. I've never seen someone walking a hamster down a sidewalk. Maybe just for, like, walking around the house? I don't know. Actually, it's adorable. When I was a kid and I had a hamster, I probably would have bought one of those. In fact, I'm pretty sure I did for my guinea pig. I'm pretty sure I had a harness for my guinea pig and I walked it around the house, so maybe I shouldn't be talking. This thing is fantastic. Good deal. Fuck it. Yeah, buy a harness for your hamster. If that's what makes you happy... Who am I to judge? A shirt that says, I have no tits. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, that's a shirt I can't wear, okay? Because I have a definite cleavage here. I'm like an A cup. I'm being generous. It's more like a B cup. When you see me lean over a table, don't look down my shirt. I know it's tempting, but shit, I got some nice cleavage. Come on. I should be flaunting it. I need to wear more low-cut tops in these videos. I think I'd get a lot more views. And a little tiny baby hand to put on your pinky. Who the fuck? Five to ten pieces weird, creepy, scary comedy. Okay, at least it's it's titled right. Oh, down from $44? $44! Damn! To $3. That's what I hate about Wish, when they're like, this used to be $1,000, now it's $1. And it's like a toothpick. I'm like, yeah, that toothpick used to be $1,000, I'm sure. Such a scam. <laughs> and a blindfold muzzle for your cat? The hell? So what, your cat can sleep more peacefully, or so it can suffocate, or maybe if your cat's into bondage? I guess I will not be buying one of these for my cat. Nylon cat muzzle bath protection travel grooming tool light convenient bathing muzzles for cats kitten black. I hate how they're just like trying to put as many words in there in that title as possible. They're trying to put as many. It's like nylon cat muzzle bath protection travel dog cat cat dog muzzle mask bath shower bondage great time outdoor mask blind cat vision blind for blinding your cat's vision it's like how many words do they let them put in here like seven thousand it's like cat kitten cat cat kitten cat <laughs> cat kitten kitty cat cat mask not for dogs dogs puppy puppy dogs muzzle <laughs> sorry i'm going down a weird loop here i don't know I don't know what happened. Uh, why is this Nicolas Cage pillow in this video? I paid more for mine. I just want to say that. I didn't pay f $4 or th four pounds or whatever. But my Nicolas Cage pillow is am amazing, okay? Um, it's not a bad product. Who put it in? Who, who put you in here? In fact, I think I need to get more Nicolas Cage stuff, okay? Like a Nicolas Cage coffee mug. Nicholas Cage face funny mug gifts for him meme mug unique mug office mug Christmas mug gifts for her no gifts for him that's a gift for me maybe I'll ask for it for Christmas <laughs> it's even better in that picture oh shoot some Nicholas Cage pants that's what I need I hope they're really tight spandex because that's what looks best on me and I love that Nicholas Cage will be like this creepy Nicholas Cage face is gonna be right on my crotch damn. Nicholas Cage really became a, 
a real product line. Does he get royalties for all this Nicolas Cage stuff made from his face? Because he should. Oh, but let's get into the Jeff Goldblum zipper pillowcase. Maybe I should start Jeff Goldblooming my place up a little bit. Oh yeah, Jeff Goldblum custom waterproof shower curtain. I think I'll just buy that one day and just surprise my wife with it. She'll just one day go to take a shower and be like, wait, what, what happened here? <laughs> she would rip that shit down instantly, especially since she's pregnant right now. She would rip it down in a pregnant fury. Ooh, shh. Oh, Jeff Goldblum, shh, trying to seduce me. Shh, oh, Jeff Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. You're no Nicolas Cage, though, Jeff. Sorry to say, but I'm Nicolas Cage all the way. Shh, he's trying to seduce me. All right, well, those are some really bad wish items. I hope you enjoyed this video. Something new, right? And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.